Hi everyone. So this video is actually a really super, super, super sad one. I'm going to try my hardest not to cry. Uh, I was just told uh, actually by my good friend Dave over at Mooch TV. So check him out on here if you haven't already. Uh, he sent me a message. I had not seen the news. I've been busy with interviews and, and working in order to take time off for the holiday. And um, Jeremy Bullock has passed away. Uh, you probably know him as Boba Fett. Uh, he was in the armor as Boba. And uh, man, I've actually met him before. Let me show you guys this video or picture. I wish it was a video. Uh, I've actually met him before. Actually, my husband and I met him on our honeymoon, uh, which is actually a really fun story. He's such a great guy. Um, but yeah, rest in peace, Jeremy. Rest in peace. Hey, Tessa from Mama's Geeky here. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel. Okay, so the fun story. Uh, I remember this is back when they did Star Wars weekends at Disney. My husband and I actually planned our wedding around uh, being able to attend, which, because we're dorks like that. We also walked out, you know, when they announced for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Smith or whatever. Uh, it, we walked out to the Imperial Death March because um, we were Star Wars dorks like that. And uh, we went to Star Wars weekend and we had the choice of... Uh, they would only let you choose one person to meet, and uh, of course, Boba being uh, someone we we love. Uh, my husband actually has Boba's helmet tattooed on his leg. Um, we're massive Boba Fett fans. Uh, he's my husband's probably favorite character in all of Star Wars. So this is hitting hard today um, to hear this because he. It was, so it was an easy choice for us who we were gonna meet. Um, let's put it that way. So they give you a ticket to come back and and I just remember we had our little just married buttons on you can see in the picture and um, He was like oh, you guys have been just married like that's great. Oh, it's amazing And he was like going on and on about his wife and just being married and 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 said said that we have similar anniversaries I think his was like a day or two off, you know um, it depended on when we were there. He was like, I just had my anniversaries. Congratulations. And of course we had a photo signed, which is now framed into my office. This is a picture of it just moments ago. Um, it's a, it's, it's something that we've always took pride in. Uh, we've always prominently displayed it. Uh, but he was just such a great guy and this just really, really sucks. And like, listen, I'm so over 2020. It's just everybody. We're losing so many good people, so many good people. Um, and to have just, just, just lost David Prowse, which actually, I think he was the other option of who we could have met. Um, yeah, he was. It was either him or Jeremy Bullock, and of course we went with Jeremy Bullock, but it was hard. It was a hard choice. Um, but I, I just, uh, I wish we could have met both, but that wasn't an option. You could only pick one. And they don't even do Star Wars Weekends anymore. Come on, Disney. But yeah, this just, um, this sucks because he was such a, a joy, you know? Um... Like I said, he was just so nice and like gave us hugs and talked to us and, and was just a great guy. And he did conventions for years. I want to say probably 20 years. Um, and it just stinks when you lose someone who's actually just such a, not only a talent, but just such a nice, nice, genuinely nice human being. Um, so rest in peace, Jeremy. And um, you know what? Boba's living on. So we've got Boba in the Mandalorian now. And uh, so a piece of him will, will forever live on. Um, and uh, it just sucks, you know? It just really sucks. And it just feels like... Just... I don't know. Something that I always loved about Boba Fett, love, still love about Boba Fett, is he's so gray, right? He's He's not... You don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. He kind of just does stuff for himself. He's a bounty hunter, but he's sometimes good and sometimes bad. And I just, I've loved that about that character. I feel like there's actually really a lot of depth to him. Uh, and I'm excited to hopefully get to know more about him uh, and what's happened to him after his battle with the Sarlacc. Uh, and now that he's a Mandalorian and maybe, maybe we'll end up with a, a spinoff as well, like we got with Ahsoka, because I love Boba and, and just having... Uh, to have been able to meet Jeremy. Like I said, he's just such an, an incredible human being. Um, he was so nice and welcoming. And to stand there all day in Florida, it's hot. Even in those convention rooms, it's hot down there. And, and you know, to, to do that all over the place just so that he could touch his fans and talk to his fans, it takes a, takes a good person to do that. And, um, you know, not everybody would do that. So uh, rest in peace, Jeremy Bullock, and uh, may the force be with you.